Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is how to trade Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation like a pro in 2017. The stock that we are looking at uh, is Cabot Oil and Gas, Epic C.O.G. Charlie Oscar Golf. Uh, this stock belongs to the Dow Jones U.S. Oil and Gas Index. We are on a yearly chart talking about a top down trading method starting from a higher time frame, bringing it down to the lower time frame, okay, to analyze okay, the charts. So, what do we see here? We see a bullish trend that was in place since 2009, okay, that bullish trend has ended in 2013. You can see here bullish trend. So if you are trading stock, if you are in a financial market, you need to understand what is going on. I talk about this in one of our videos, the story of uh, the stock market, bullish trend, all right? What's the expectation? The expectation that there will be a correction, bringing the price in a zone of 50% and 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. If the financial instrument is bullish, the fundamental are still solid, the stock is considered, or the financial instrument is considered as oversold in a zone of 50% and 51.8% and Fibonacci retracement level. And there is a possibility that we may see a new a trend. If the fundamentals are not solid, we may see what we call a zigzag, or the price coming down to the, all the way to the starting point, what we call the cycle point. This is the story of the stock market, and it's happening all the time. So you may say to me, Joel, what has got to do with crude oil? What has got to do with uh, oil and gas? What has got to do with uh, Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation? Yes, look at it. On the yearly chart, you see there was a bullish trend. Now they probably pulled back to his zone, the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement zone. I want to show you how I draw my uh, Fibonacci retracement on my chart. So you can see here, this is the beginning. All right. I did not put it all the way to the top. Okay, I could. So I could put. I could. I could move my uh, my Fibonacci thing all the way to the top. That will bring the fifty percent near the pink line here, and the sixty-one point eight percent somewhere here, because of what has happened in this zone. I'm aware that some trader may draw their Fibonacci retracement like this, but as I put it back to the closing price, I prefer that. Okay, now I change my line again one more time because. Uh, okay, as I put it to the closing price, I move a bit. Uh, here we are. Uh, there's a bit of. Uh, this was happened. If I put it to the closing price right here, you see that my 50% is now here near the red line and the 61.8 percent is here and i prefer that instead of the first one that i draw at the top here so this is the story bullish trend correction bringing the price to 50 percent and 61.8 percent fibonacci retracement level fundamental trader will go back to the balance sheet check the fundamental the management all right the cash flow and they will decide to buy in this zone all right so here it is after the correction the price found a support near the, that sweet spot zone so for traders that are trading talking about how to trade cabot oil and gas corporation like a pro in 2017 one should not forget the 50 percent fibonacci investment level at 1996 the 61.8 percent is at 1546 so draw those two lines on your chart and understand that this zone is a sweet a spot zone. All right. I'm going to remove now my Fibonacci retracement from my chart. And I want you to pay attention to the reaction of the price here. You can see I'm on the yearly chart last year, 2016. There were sellers here. How do I know? Because of the shadow on top of this candlestick bar, there were sellers here. So... As the price coming down, people are selling. There were sellers here. There were sellers here. Yet again, there were sellers here. We can't ignore it. So this year, 2017, as the price tried to go up into that zone where all they were placed to sell, 
what did they do they sold it again they push it back down okay so we know now looking at the yearly chart that people are selling in this zone all right so what can we do with, about that all right we need to understand what is taking place here I, I want you now to draw to use another fibonacci retracement or you want you to apply fibonacci retracement to the year 2015 to the range of 2015 we're going to draw it from the top all the way down right here there is a reason why people are selling this zone and that reason is because of the media line of 2015 which is the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level of the range of this candlestick kind of bar so therefore i'm going to put another line there and i'll color it uh, orange good you see so that's why they are selling here so with that observation we can say to traders the priority to sell signal below 2525 two, beautiful number 2525 two, that's another key level that you do not want to forget 2525 two, all right so as long as the price is below that 2525 five, one should give priority to sell signal all right but it does not mean that we're just going to go and sell anyhow but it means that if there is a, a sell okay a, a high probability sell trading setup we will look at it and see whether we want to participate in it or not all right but if the price is going down, the price is looking for a better support level. All right. So there are key levels here that we, we should not ignore. All right. And I'm going to talk about it very soon. All right. So 2525, five, priority to bear signal below, and priority to bullish signal above. Break a bow, retest, turn around. All right. Now we are below it. People are selling it. All right. People are selling it. Okay. Now, before we continue, I need to speak to you because sometimes uh, a company director may watch a video like this and say, John, you're telling people to sell our stock. No, we are doing what we call a technical analysis, looking at a chart alone, all right? 2525, prior to bear signal, below. Okay, so that's what we see on the yearly chart. I wonder thing before we switch uh, to uh, I'm going to go I'm going to do one more thing here. You see this uh, candlestick bar here, which year was that? Uh, 2013. I want you to just uh, highlight the body of that candlestick bar to so measure the height of that candlestick bar here, this one here, because it was a bullish candlestick bar. Once you measure the height, which I already done here, we project it here. You put it at the opening price and you project it down. The reason why we want to do that is to highlight another key level right here project it down the level that i want you to put on your chart is one two one one another beautiful number one two one one another key levels that you want to remember so with those uh, key levels all right one two one 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 five four six one nine nine six two five 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 we have map out this chart this cabot oil and gas corporation and we can now look for trading setup around those key levels so we just leave those lines on our chart but right now do not forget to fight to find priority to bear signal below that level so this is a kind of preparation for day trading and swing trading and for position trading knowing where are the key levels where the professional are likely okay to make decision so together we can make decision all right we don't want to step on their feet all right so going to the monthly chart i want to highlight the pink line here this is the first long-term equilibrium price level for cabot oil gas and corporation all right the first long-term equilibrium price level is at 2331. 2331. You do not want to forget that level throughout 2017. In fact, for an investor who want to invest in this uh, stock, it's very important to understand that, all right? If, for instance, the stock form a bullish chart pattern, so our 
let me talk about it. I would prefer something like this, especially on a monthly chart, a double bottom chart pattern. It's a high probability trading setup. Something like this. For instance, if it continues to go down all the way here, direct or say, George, you tell people to sell our stock. Why are you doing that? Now, if the stock reach this level of $15.46, right, which is quite below the long term equilibrium price level, 2331. Now, once you go to the balance sheet, check, okay, compare, okay, the short term liability to the all right, the current assets, all right, so current asset quite high, multiple times the current liability means that the business will stay in business, good, it passed the Google Asset test, great, now we check the balance sheet, the cash flow, the business or the sector, talking about the sector, we are talking about the energy sector, so crude oil was going down in the last two years, another thing I need to point out very fast was crude oil was going down, in the last two years. But if you look at Cabot stock, which is good news for director to know that I'm not just about to sell stocks, this stock is quite resilient. You can see that uh, though a lot of stock went down too far, this stock, he, as he was going down, he couldn't break below that 50% and 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the prior trend, which means Without looking at the fundamental, okay, without checking anything else, the first impression is that this stock is resilient. So we can say, technically speaking, this stock is bullish. All right. We're going back again to the monthly chart. As I was pointing out to you, talking about the sector, could all was bearish in the last three years, but this stock was quite resilient. We need to point it out because it couldn't break below uh, that 50%, 61.8% level. If the fundamental are solid, it passed the Google Asset test, this is a bullish candidate. So for an investor, for instance, if this stock continues to go down and reaches this level of form a bullish chart pattern, a double bottom uh, somewhere here, that's an invitation to buy and hold. All right? In fact, it's considered as oversold because it's well below its long term, its first long term equilibrium price level is undervalued. All right? Therefore, if the fundamental are solid, Okay, one can look for an opportunity to buy it. I did not say buy this stock. I'm saying that if we have a double bottom chart pattern, all right, and the fundamental are solid, then we can look at this stock as a bullish candidate, all right? All right, so do not forget 2331, long-term equilibrium price level, the first long-term equilibrium price level for Cabot Oil. If you want to trade Cabot Oil, guys, and corporation like uh, a pro in 2017, you must know at least the first long-term equilibrium price level at 2331. <laughs> All right, you can, see, can you see what's happening here? Can you see why the price is stuck below? It's trying to go, soon. you see, it's stopping. So there is a kind of uh, consolidation happening here between the level of 2331 and the level of 1996. So the current market pattern, if we go to the weekly chart, you'll see now uh, that there is a kind of consolidation. You see here, boom, 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 boom. In fact, the consolidation is quite big. We can say between the 2555 and 1996. Right, but do not ignore the 2331. So 2525, five, all right? That's the media line of 2015. Okay, as long as we stay below it, prior to bear signal, but the current market pattern is a consolidation between 2525 five and 1996. People are looking for opportunity to buy near the 1996, all right? And uh, are cashing out at 2525. Five. So the current market pattern is a consolidation that will determine the appropriate strategy that we must deploy. So as I was telling you, the, the sector was bearish before. Now the fundamentals start improving for crude oil, which means for the sector, the energy sectors. All right. So stocks that belong to that sector have more chance, okay, to benefit from the a bullish sentiment. But one more thing I need to mention to you before I forget: looking at the the chart alone without checking the fundamental for this stock, though technically speaking, this stock is bullish, there's one more thing that is bothering me, which I need to mention to you, all right, as a technical trader. So where we are now, there are two things that can happen, all right? So the first one can be like the price going up like this, one, two, three. Something like this. If crude oil continues to push it up, we may see something like this. 
which can put this stock under pressure a bit if it reaches this resistance level. All right. Personally, it would be better for this stock not to go up straight away one, two, three, but to do the, something else. So remember that we may see something like this because it stopped at the 50% Fibonacci adjustment level. There are always orders there to buy if we had before a bullish trend. Those orders are already filled. There are market participants that trade always like this. So there are orders that is already filled. But there is another group of traders that are contrarian traders. They know that these orders are filled. If those positions are weak, they may try to sell them down. So the stock may go down so what am I talking about okay may do something like this may do something like this so so we see the first reaction they move down so instead of one two three up we will see something like this one and a bit of bounce up yeah okay so you may see okay it's going to do one two three up but instead, we may see what we call a zigzag. A zigzag. So either one, two, three up, which can put this stock under pressure. Right? Or because it's already going down, one, two. So we, we will prefer it to go a little bit up more and then come back down. Okay? before it zoom up big time so just remember that though the stock technically speaking is bullish is above the 50 percent 61.8 percent level the reason why i'm pointing out all this move one two three up and one two three down is because the minimum price move is what is free all right so now that it drop it down one two three like this it may go one two three even above the high of this one we know about it but it will put the stock later on under bearish pressure so for a healthy bullish progression it's better for cabot oil to do something like this one two three and then to run away as the the the, 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 the energy sector is booming up is resuming a new bullish trend Traders say, Joe, you repeat yourself too much because some traders are very advanced. <laughs> All right. Well, I slow down sometimes like this and I repeat myself purposely because uh, there are some very new traders out there trying to figure out, George, what are you talking about? Enough of my blah, blah, blah. Let's continue now. Going again to the weekly chart. Okay. I want to draw a trend line. So if you are trading Cabot oil, you need to remember this trend line. Here it is. Pew. Color it into red. At the beginning of this tutorial, we were saying that the priority to bearish signal uh, below 2525, yes or no? So the price is now under the bearish uh, trend line. You can see here. So if one is buying, okay, whether you see a double bottom chart pattern at 1546 or 1996, if you are buying it, be gentle because we are still below this bearish trend line. And also talking about the one, two, three up, remember this trend line. All right? Very simple. So we talk about few key levels the one two one one note it down one five four six one nine nine six okay two two four three the current short-term equilibrium price level two three three one the first long-term equilibrium price level that we should not forget throughout 2017 the two five two five the medium of 2015 very very important key levels all right and also this a trend line so what do we need to do? We are looking for trading setup in the vicinity for one of those key levels. And remember, the 
current market pattern will determine the appropriate strategy that we must deploy if we are day trading and swing trading Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation, EPIC COG. The current market pattern is a consolidation between 2525 and 1996. One more thing on the weekly chart. All right, we can also place on our chart the pitch for two, the most neglected trading tool that a lot of traders do not want to use or do not know how to use. Here is our pitch for two. You can see that the price still in the in the in the boundaries of the pitch for two, almost on the edge of it. So draw the pitch for two on your weekly chart and look for a trading setup also on the edge of the pitch for two. As I mentioned to traders, one can also divide each half of the pitch for two into two. This will also, you can see that we are now in the second half. This is the second half of the pitch for two and also in the other half of that half. Am I making sense? This is the half of the second half of the pitch for two. So if it's bouncing along the edge of the pitch for two, do not ignore the media line of the second half of the pitch for two. This is the first half of the pitch for two. So do something like this on your chart and have your line ready and trade on the edge of the key levels. So when you see a trading setup, so you may say to me, Joy, where are we now? What's going on, George? It's a consolidation. This is what's going on now. So people will be looking for opportunity to sell then two five two five. Okay. If it's coming down, you'll pay attention to the media line, which is near the 2243, the current short term equilibrium price level. To take first profit there. If you break below that level, final resistance, they will push it down to 196. This is what's going on now. So if you want me to be truly, truly bullish, probably to bullish signal above 2525. So the best scenario for bullish traders is to come out above 2525 and also above the red trend line. So we can say, well, 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 it's looking bullish now for Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation. But do not forget what I've already shown you on the yearly chart. Was it yearly chart or weekly, monthly chart? Okay, it was the monthly chart, one, two, three, up, or one, two, three, down. I would prefer the one, two, three, down. This is the end of the tutorial about how to trade Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation like a pro in 2017. If you have any question or suggestion, uh, this is your time. Put in the comment section and do course. I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about how to trade Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation like a pro in 2017. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.